I very much see myself as an Icelandic composer, even if I've been living in Denmark for 16 years. People around me in Denmark say that I have something they call an Icelandic sound, but I'm not so sure. And I think maybe the Icelandic sound and I have been sort of parting ways in some, some ways. I think it's inevitable to feel inspired by the dramatic nature of Iceland and the wilderness. Yesterday I was just driving around and it's just so amazing being able to see like a geyser and then look up to a glacier and all in the space of just a few minutes and it's just, yeah, it, it is inspiring. I actually came from a background of heavy metal music, like death metal, the heaviest of metal music. <laughs> and uh, went from there to like church music, uh, where I was sort of raised in a, in a choir during my teenage years, and that got me into totally different styles of music. But I still sort of say that choir is my, sort of is my first instrument, and that's where I really uh, felt at home. It's sort of a tradition in Iceland. You know, a lot of composers have written music that can be performed by amateur choirs. And uh, even the most avant-garde composers back in the day, they all wrote some choir music. And I sort of just like to work on that tradition. At Roquefield on a single afternoon on the day of the funeral of a vocal teacher who introduced me and sort of dragged me into the first choir I ever sang in when I was like in my teenage years. He had a big influence on me and how I ended up singing quite a bit myself. So I thought it was appropriate to give his choir this piece uh, on that day and um, it was performed on my, uh, my father's Funeral, in my father's funeral and my father-in-law's as well. So it's a piece that has a, a sort of emotional connection to me. And, um Lengt geymir vatnið leið mína yfir fjallið, felur hana rökri og ró í nótt. Vær geymir svefnin söknuð minn í lautu, með degi rísan aftur úr djúpsins ró.